Hello guys, welcome back. Um, you can see I have now deleted all the color information where I don't want it to be. Uh, so these, this is primarily the, for the nails. Um, so this is the layer without the nails, the co just the color overlay layer. Um, I did something new as well. I did uh, add another of these sketch maps. I just uh, duplicated the old sketch map here, and then I put one on top and use this color information to mask um, what I didn't want to affect. In this case, I wanted to uh, get some, hi some more highlights on the, um, on the uh, edges of the indentations and the holes and, and what have you um, on this, uh, of this map here. So, so I deleted the nails uh, of this sketch map because I only wanted to affect the veins of the wood. Um, and then I tweaked the sketch, of the sketch map of that and added some highlights of this. Um, I do actually want to go even lower opacity on this, so something like this instead, just to get a little uh, highlight, a little bit more highlights that, like this. Um, and what else did I do? I took the old sketch map and I deleted everything that wasn't the nails, so I could, uh, so I can now tweak the nails, uh, the highlights of the nails individually, uh, like this. Um, I do think that I maybe want to go even crazier with the highlights so something like this maybe uh, so that we have even greater highlights um, I think what I do want to do as well is I want to duplicate the ambient occlusion map like this um, and maybe tweak the levels of this uh, nope not like that um, oh, okay this is actually a um, need to put this on top of this instead so I now need to nope <laughs> sorry for that I need to do this and then I put this on top of that and I can then get a layers adjustment layer like this and I can now adjust this so let's see See what what this uh, what did this actually do? It just yeah, it just did the shadows in the indentations darker. So I think I want this. I quite like this to be honest. So I'm gonna keep this. Um, and I think that we are basically almost done with this. Let's see how this looks in a. Um, uh, actually, let's just collapse these and let's get this as new layers and merge these. And I need to shut down an application that interferes with my Alt key. So I'm just going to select all of this, Control A, and I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to create a new document here. So I'm going to do a 2K map here. I'm just going to paste this in and see how well we are tiling here. This should be perfect. And it does seem like it is actually perfectly perfectly tiled. So this is this. I think this looks pretty good. So at this point, I'm just going to shut this down. I'm going to create a new document, a new 10k of uh, uh, 1k map. Sorry, and I'm just going to paste this in here. Our perfectly tiled wooden texture. And at this point, I'm just going to come to the uh, uh, image, and I'm going to go image size, and I'm going to resize this to 512 by 512. I'm going to choose by cubic sharper for reduction. And as you can see, the problem with using this is that it creates a transparent seam on the outside here. What we can do to fix this is we can duplicate this layer and merge it. And if we then duplicate it again and merge it, this seam should now be gone. And it is. So the last thing I'm going to do about this is I'm going to go to filter, sharpen, and I'm going to choose unsharp mask. I'm going to choose something like, let's see, something like 75%. And that's it. That's it for this texture. I'm then going to save this out. So let's see, wood texture tutorial. I'm going to choose a JPEG format. And this is just tile level wooden planks texture. So I'm just going to save it and that's basically it for the tutorial guys.
I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you can use this for anything or something. <laughs> and um, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys. Bye.